hello guys so welcome to our channel so in this video we are seeing that how to migrate our wordpress pro, uh, wordpress website from like sale to ec2 instance and we are also migrating our database from uh, sql to rts instance and uh, before starting this video please like and subscribe our channel so let's start this video so migrating our uh, like cell from the uh, like cell to ec2 instance we need to create a one snapshot so go to uh, click on this and play go to snapshot and create a snapshot click on create i already created this snapshot you just create on click on create so you can see uh, snapshot is creating it will take some time so i already take uh, this snapshot uh, so after creating this snapshot you will see this option three dots click on this and click on export amazon ec2 instance and uh, click on yes continue and click on this so you can see that this setting button they uh, they will start exporting to amazon ec2 instance and this means like uh, they taking one image snapshot in ec2 instance where we can use this image id and launch our ec2 instance so if you go to our ec2 instance and if you go to ami so you can see this instance is now creating this image ami so wait till uh, so wait till uh, this this exporting is completed and you can see that uh, this sorry this is our website so we are importing this website so waiting till this will export it so so our uh, ec2 is exported uh, you can see this so if you go to our ec2 instance and refresh this one so this is uh, imported with the name of WordPress one, just name this one with demo. So it's easy to. So all this done. Now we need to launch EC2 instance using this AMI ID. So go to instance. So just go to launch instance. Click on launch instance. So uh, you can see option uh, My AMI. Click on the select this one WordPress one, and second option is instance type so you can choose accordingly which type you want uh, i am choosing this free tier and you can choose accordingly your uses click next so a uh, number of instances uh, i am choosing one you can choose uh, you can launch auto scaling groups also if you want and uh, choosing vpc uh, like uh, so i am selecting default if you want you can create a new vpc and use it uh, i am using default one and uh, so, uh, subnets if you want to choose any another subnets like uh, i am choosing ability zones they automatically choose and uh, auto signing public ip i am using subnet settings like uh, they will uh, a subnet will automatically take care like uh, inbound rules uh, if you want enable you can do and uh, click on next storage you can add uh, storage i am choosing default one Click on tags and next security. So if you want to use, uh, you want to create a new security group, you can create. I'm using the existing security groups and you can give the name. So I am demo one and add the rules if you want. So add rules like uh, all traffics you can do. I am choosing for demo all traffic. It will really use easy for us. So review and launch this instance. So this is need to choose the key pair. So I am using. Uh, I already have a key pair. So existing key pair you can create new one if you don't have. Uh, I am using existing. So click on this and launch ninety six. Launch the instance. So if you go to instance, you can see the status is pending. Just wait, uh, they show the start. So if you go to there and more settings we need to see. 
go to security and this demo and check the inbound rules the all traffic's all there so this good okay go to see instance so it's now running if you copy this one like details and copy public id and paste here so it will take some time wait for some time it will take some time so waiting after some time we will redo see so now we can see uh, so just open this one so see it so we have no ssl certification so they were showing this error so you can see our website is now showing on this ec2 ip address uh, so it's now all done uh, we need to connect with uh, this with our instance to go to connect and uh, we need to go uh, click on terminal and go to uh, which uh, we uh, we need to go to the folder so the cd downloads and just copy this to this one check and copy this one and just added this uh, root with bitnami we need to edit this one root with bitnami yes now we are connected if you do ls you can see bitnami application password so if you copy this one and if you copy this and cat paste so you can see our work password admin password so all ec2 is ready migrate the uh, now we need to migrate our uh, database into rds so just go to rds taking time here we need to create one database so just click on create database and standard create choose the mysql production this will name should be wordpress admin master name so user i am giving password you will give probably so i am you can choose tv instance class so i am choosing micro uh, you can choose uh, only your users uh, large or is it will one tv ram and two cpus all these all should be default so if you want to choose vpc you can choose it only i am choosing the default one we will give the public access where we can connect to with our rds and all this are done additional we need to give the database so wordpress db uh, now just create so you can see this status creating so uh, wait till wait till this uh, completed so uh, it will take some time so after completing we will start this video so our database is now created you can see status is modifying so it will take time so go to uh, database and click on wordpress so you can see the endpoint and port 36303306 and if you click on configurations so these all the information will come uh, so db name rds master user so just go to vpc default settings inbound rule at the division mysql and my ip and second rule will be all traffic 
anywhere safe so now we need to take a backup of our database in light sail and then we put it into rts so for that you need to go to ec2 instance and connect your instance with terminal and i already connected with terminal and we need to get rds uh, we need to password for uh, database password so just copy this and ls so sorry that we get this password and run this command my sql dump u boot minus p bitnami wordpress backup backup demo dot sql so just write this command mysql dump and run this command now we need to enter the password just copy this password and enter oh we need to spelling is wrong bitnami bitnami okay now enter the password just copy this so just ls so you can see that backup demo dot sql now we need to import in our rds for that just uh, we need to go to rds and connectivity copy this end point and you can go to here and just paste here our end point and just copy this command go to our terminal paste here and just name this backup demo file which we created so you can see demo file give wordpress enter your word rds password oh wait wordpress db okay so we all we successfully imported into in our uh, dynamo db uh, into rds database so now we need to check this uh, rds so for that you can uh, you can check from terminal also or you can download this benchmark mysql benchmark where you can check that so i think i can connect from terminal so open cell new terminal and copy this command for connecting with the uh, our rds so just enter password so our database is not connected just show tables now so database so you can see our this uh wordpress db is there so just show table a uh, use this i think use use wordpress db and show the tables so you can see our all tables are imported in in, in rds now we need to uh, edit our config file into uh, into in uh, our uh, this server so go to ls cd opt cd just tell ls now cd bit nami ls cd wordpress 
ls now you see you can see vp config php now just cat vp config now we need to edit this one so vi just copy this file okay press i and go uh, here we need to edit this one so our db name is so our db name is i think our db name is go to configurations our db name is i think db name oh wordpress db copy this open terminal and gitnami wordpress copy this gitnami wordpress db user our db user is user you can see here master username is user so just copy it user and we need to give password so you need to give the password of uh, our rds so just added this password so my password is wordpress and here db host here you can put paste endpoint so just copy this endpoint do this here and copy this endpoint and paste here now all things are good okay and just go to escape press W key. Now just cat. Recheck the this VP config file. So recheck this file. So WordPress username and all things are good. Now just go to our website and refresh this. You can see. Our website is working. Okay, now if you uh, delete, like stop this instance, this one, just stop this. Stopping this instance. Now just refresh. See our this instance is working so that is if you like and if you want to uh, like uh, config into route 53 you can do uh, route 53 go to route 53 and enter your entry here so you can enter your entry here edit this and put a, a public ip address here or you can do auto scaling group like a create auto scaling all these things so all things are done you can check so our data is stopping wait it's stopping and if you check this it's working and our uh, database in rds so see our database in rds and uh, we successfully migrated from light cell into ec2 instance so you can see uh, our instance is now stopped and if you go to our uh, ec2 instance and uh, just copy this public ip and refresh here so our uh, website is running so our database is also imported in our rds so that is if you like this video like and subscribe our channel and thank you so much for watching this video